Hello, welcome to another problem session. Um, okay, so today we have a problem in uh, elastic collision. <clears throat> and this is a very interesting problem. It's one of my favorite problems. <clears throat> As always, um, when you read through this, you can see um, you need to think in terms of what's happening in, in time. So like number one thing to think is like, what's happening in time. Uh, imagine in time. So this whole thing uh, is falling together. So it, whatever the speed of this guy is, the speed of that guy. So there's a, <clears throat> uh, the only force on this is, you know, the normal force and gravity. So <clears throat> Um, you would think there is a normal force by the gravity, but no, these both are in free fall, so there is no normal force from big M to little m. And this falling as a uh, free fall as this thing is falling. And so they kind of fall. So just before they fall, you can imagine the big one and the little one, they're both going with the same speed. So the, this one, the big one is going with some speed, say V, uh, V1. And this one is going with same value. V2 is same as V1 in terms of speed, right? And the velocity is also same. So this is before the impact. So let's call it T1, T before impact. And then when there's immediately after the impact, when this thing touches, that guy is still falling. So, is it like a during the impact, uh, the velocity of this thing is goes to zero and then turns back up. So this is a, a an instant after the impact. This has some v1 prime go up. Well, while this guy is, is still coming down with same v1, so v2 prime is, is still same as v1, original v1. Now, this coming down is this guy is going up, so th this is going to be another collision. So this is like a one collision, collision one. And then there is a collision between these two guys. Uh, it, it seems like a little fake thing going on here, but it's not really the fake thing. It's just the direction the velocity has changed, which we can think of. This thing is still touching it, but then they're going to hit each other, the push against each other. This guy's trying to do come down and this guy's trying to go up. So, so let's see, T, imagine, imagine, So this is T A, let's call it T after, after. So this guy will have some uh, V, V1 double prime, let's call it V1 double prime. And this guy probably switches the direction of velocity and this calls V2 double prime. And so this is uh, <clears throat> between here and here, you can think of collision number two, and both are elastic. Okay, so <clears throat> we really need to analyze these two, these two collisions, and we also need to analyze uh, this thing when it falls down all the way, if you look at the center of this, to the center of this, it has fallen a distance edge. So there is a, this motion before T less than Tb, that this motion, that's what this last speeds will come out. So we have situation 0, situation 1, and situation 2. So there are three things we have to analyze. And then uh, that should have enough information to uh, to get us, right? So let's start, start with the uh, analyzing this step, we can right away get V1 for both of this, 
v1 is a square root of 2 gh this this one you can set up one dimensional equation motion and that's that's what you're going to get if you don't know how to do it um you should uh, read up uh, one dimensional um, free fall uh, okay I, I'm not just uh, memorizing this equation it's uh, you can actually drive it on this part you should know how to get this equation on this part okay so <clears throat> this happened because when I let go uh, v initial was zero here and that makes it v final equals to that all right, so um, here is the collision of the big ball with the floor. Between these two is collision of big ball with the floor. And floor has a mass of the floor is infinite. And it's saying the elastic, so it's going to just flip back up. So in situation one, uh, let's call this positive y-axis. So, while the velocity was minus v1 coming down, velocity above is plus v1 prime, but they will be equal to each other. So, over here it will be uh, v1 prime, it will also be equal to v1. v1 prime will also be equal to v1, and say elastic collision elastic collision of the large ball with infinite mass floor so <clears throat> this this thing is a uh, is it's just a speed uh, the speed is all the same right so you can uh, <clears throat> and one way to very easily say this will be just look at the um, large ball and the floors this collision uh, relative velocity of the large ball with the floor v relative of the large ball with the floor uh, is just v1 before right so and v uh, relative uh, this is before and v relative after is uh, v1 prime but this has to be equal to that equal uh, since elastic collision so this is another way to just immediately get this answer <clears throat> okay so let's look at what's going to happen to uh, this particular step. In this particular step, floor is not, we can completely ignore the floor. Ignore floor now. Because the collision is between the large ball and the little ball. So um, in two, um, We'll need more space, so I'm going to do it over here. In two, uh, again, we're going to take this uh, uh, this as a positive y-axis. So, if I look at this v2 prime, uh, momentum conservation will tell you that net momentum here must be equal to net momentum here. So, momentum conservation will tell you. Uh, big M and this is positive V1x so V1 prime x out oh, prime y I mean is y and little m V2 prime y equals to big M V1 double prime y plus little m a v2 double prime y. So that, that's a <clears throat> momentum conservation and you already know that this one is going up so this one is just uh, 
equal to v1 we already know v1 prime equal to v1 so just everything how about v2 prime v2 prime is going down so v2 prime y is this is going to be a minus v1 because v2 prime is v1 in speed uh, taking direction to the i need minus over there these guys both of them are unknown so but uh, we can just leave them alone uh, and then you have a elastic collision so you could say kinetic energy conservation that means relative velocity magnitude unchanged same thing over here I did I'm going to do over here so what's the relative velocity before they're coming towards each other right so this is going to be 2v1 so 2v1 so this is before v relative after now if i take both of them uh both of them as positives so this will be v2 double prime minus v1 double prime v2y double prime minus v uh, v1y double prime and this should be equal to that so making them equal um, gives me one equation uh, so assuming that this is bigger than this uh, so so we, we just take it like v2 double prime y is bigger than v1 y double prime uh, uh, let's then I can remove this absolute sign and then I can just get it 2 v1 equals v2 y double prime minus v1 y double prime and put this on the other side and then use this oh, uh, maybe I, I want to eliminate v1 y double prime okay so I want to eliminate this guy so I will put it like this so I'll just say v1 y double prime. I did I don't need to solve for this guy I need to solve for that guy because then there will be motion after this that we need to have actually this step three we need to if this is going with this then this height we need to find h right so <clears throat> v1 it will be this minus that v2 y double prime minus 2 v1 okay um uh, uh, let me get a little more space and I think I can uh, crime it in here so this is m minus little m v1 and on the other side I got capital M times this guys um, v2 I'm gonna just forget writing y well continue writing y okay all those kind of cost me time here and plus m v2 y double prime so <clears throat> v2 y double prime i can solve v2 y double prime is equal to take this on the other side so this goes at becomes 3m minus little m v1 i hope i'm doing algebra properly divide by these guys come by m plus big m right uh, i hope this is correct okay so suppose this is correct so how do i get an h so i know that this is the v2y pro it went up like that so it's exactly same thing going up right so i need h same formula v v2 equal to zero here so v2 y equal to zero this is the final and this is the initial for this one dimensional motion under gravity g that way so step three is really easy h is just the square of this divide to gh so i square this guy v2 y double prime i square this guy divide by 2g so it's kind of complicated you can put in here and then you can get the answer 1 over 2g 
3 m minus m v1 over m plus m v square. All right, that was a long problem. Uh, so that's that's the answer uh, I can get. That's above h. And if I wanted to have the height all the way from the floor to where it will go, if I want to have that height, that height will be will be h plus 2r depending on which which one is this height uh, this maximum height is refers to um, we can I think it refers to this height in this problem implicitly okay uh, again um, once you've solved the problem it always helps to go back and or to go back um, and look at what you have done and what were the main steps. So <clears throat> let me uh, re just reiterate. The first step was wherever the situation is, I was going to walk it through this step zero and then it's going to hit while both balls are going down but only this ball is going to touch while this ball is still going down. This is very critical. This ball is still going down and the velocity of this ball, big ball will actually flip. So, so there was a second step which I call one uh, and then there will be a second collision over here which is actually explained in the problem itself. I need to identify that and there is a third step third step and last step that's in the fourth one for me zero one two and three that's the fourth step and I, it, initially I kind of forgot about this fourth step but there's a fourth step in the problem um, so this is actually a strategy and you really need uh, need to work this out this walk the problem walk the problem through this uh, various things that will happen and identify pieces that you need to work on. And once you've identified pieces, that each piece is rather easy to work out. The two, two is the hardest one, but it's still, it wasn't that painful. And there's a little bit of algebra, but that's it. And three is really easy to work out. Um, and of course the height, depending where you are, uh, that's easy to work out. Okay, I think uh, I'll stop here. Um, don't uh, forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, more people subscribe, uh, the more it gets uh, distributed and it helps out more people. So I will see you in another video. Bye.